Leah Arts is considering a career with Germany's armed forces. But she's not sure yet if she's really cut out for it. So she's attending this camp in the Rommel barracks. These retreats are becoming more popular. The German armed forces are looking for ways to attract new recruits because fewer and fewer young people want the dangerous job of soldier. Leia will spend five days getting to know the ins and outs of life in the military. But will she end up choosing the armed services? Nineteen-year-old Leia wanted to study music, but her grades weren't good enough. Now she's here with the 21st Armored Brigade in the town of Augustdorf in North Rhine-Westphalia. She's thinking about becoming a career officer. There are two lockers here. That's the one for our clothes. This room is for four people. She and her roommate are tidying up. The sergeant is coming for inspection. Tidiness is important in the military. Are you a tidy person at home? <laughs> at home? Not at all. But I used to work at a primary school and it wasn't hard for me there. I could tidy up all day and honestly enjoy it. But my room is always a mess, even when I've just cleaned up. Right now, this is perfect. Put your pillow on the other side. Turn it around so the opening faces the other direction. Tuck that in a bit. Other than that, fine, no complaints. <laughs> the young guests also get a taste of military drill. Basically, drill commands are for the sake of order, so everything looks neat, and we don't look like wallies when we're marching. And they march a lot on the base, always in formation. But the in-your-face drill sergeant is a thing of the past. Since Angela Merkel did away with compulsory service, the armed forces have been competing with the private sector. Captain Martin Waltemata explains. When training for operations and combat situations, the tone is the same as it's always been. But when we're teaching, and we always take the approach of adult education, the tone's often no different than on a campus or at school, because we're passing on information. Today, it's not just about drills. It's about complex technology within the armed forces that needs to be explained clearly and calmly. And we do. Early in the morning, it's time to learn how to set up a bivouac. The young civilians aren't even fully awake yet. Ages range from 16 to early 20s. Minors are not allowed to touch weapons or ordnance, but the experienced soldiers explain everything to them. Just for a quick overview, over there we have a shelter half to cover the equipment. The other six shelter halves are for the soldiers to sleep under. The 21st Armored Brigade likes to strut its stuff with this 830 horsepower Buffalo Armored Military Vehicle. Can I go in there? Cool. cool. <laughs> oh my god, how am I supposed to reach the seat? Climb over. And this lever here is a joystick for the front shovel. You can look out up there and clear the way. How do I get out of here? There's a little lever here next to the seat. Just pull that to move the seat up. There's a sea of buttons here, so many indicators, and I have no idea what they're all for. There's a pedal and a clutch here, I guess, just like in a car. And there's a flashlight. That I recognize, but that's it. <laughs> 
At the sight of the armored troop carriers, the young campers fall silent. They know that Germany's armed forces requisitioned them after often fatal attacks on German soldiers in Afghanistan. Of course, I don't want to go to the front. I'm sure there are people who do, but personally, I don't. But it's part of the job. The soldiers at camp make no secret of how dangerous life in the military can be. On the contrary, they make sure to show the young guests their protective gear and the vehicle armor. First aid training to be used in extreme situations is mandatory for every soldier. Can you imagine doing this for a real-life severely injured comrade? Yes. I've often imagined reanimating someone. I sometimes even dream about it at night. Are you afraid of a situation like that actually happening? Sure, anybody would be shocked, me too. But I'd know what to do, and I'd do it without hesitation. The Boxer Armored Transport Vehicle. The Bundeswehr purchased it specifically for dangerous operations abroad. It's designed to transport soldiers out of the combat zone, even under fire. And if you really go into battle with this thing and somebody shoots out your tires? I'd keep on driving. I wouldn't care about that. In the field ambulance, Leia learns more about dangerous rescue operations. This stretcher isn't attached to the floor. In a dangerous situation, like a detonation from below or a mine or something, anything built into the floor could come loose. Next stop, the gym. Leia and the others have to take a basic fitness test. Failing means no career in the armed forces. Participants have to hold a pull-up for at least five seconds. With her judo training, Leia lasts much longer. Thirty. Go, 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 go. Good job. Ready, set, go. The 1,000-meter dash is tougher. They have to finish in under six and a half minutes. Leia manages this too, but she's one of the last to cross the finish line. To be honest, I haven't been running in ages, and I smoke. I used to go to endurance training, but not anymore. Maybe I should practice a bit. At least I passed, but I can do better. The highlight of the week in camp is the Armored Brigade's arms show. The Leopard 2 battle tank, 1,500 horsepower and over 60 tons. The armored infantry takes up position for a simulated battle situation. One patrol is ambushed and comes under fire. Camp participants get some hands-on training. How do these huge shells fit into such a tiny hole? It's inserted into the main gun. This part here is what comes out, not the big part. The big part doesn't even fit. This part is burned, and this is what comes back out. Can you lift it if you're old enough? Absolutely. How old are you? 19, almost 20. 
But it's pretty heavy. How heavy? 20 kilograms. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty heavy. Is that the heaviest? No, the heaviest is 29. But regulations don't allow women to carry one alone. We can, but women can't. Come here, we can carry it together. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That thing is really heavy. Look, they can wear makeup, but we can't. First troop report. Follow the corporal. Yeah, it was fun. It got pretty exhausting with waking up early and working out, but I actually liked having a bit of action. Finding out about the military was really cool. We learned a lot and it helped me make up my mind. I'm definitely going to enlist for voluntary military service as soon as possible. After that, I won't study with the German armed forces because they don't have my subject. But with a civilian degree, I might be able to start right off as a career officer. Based on the way I feel right now, that's what I'm going to do. Now Leia and the others know what to expect in the military. The tone may have become more civil, but the job still involves risks. <laughs>